Ladies and gentlemen, something that's happening more than 10 to 12,000 kilometers away from us, but it could change our lives. It could really, really hurt us. The story out on News 18, we thought we should bring you the story about the Doomsday Glacier. The Twites Glacier, often known as the Doomsday Glacier, is on the edge of collapsing. As per new assessments, warm water is getting into the glacier's fractures and crevices more than half a kilometer below the surface, forming new canyons at a rate of 43 meters per year. So what is the Twites Glacier? Well, it's called the Doomsday Glacier because it is 120 kilometers wide at its widest point, fast moving and melting rapidly over time. Reports suggest that it contains enough water to increase the global sea level by more than half a meter due to its size. Every year, it releases billions of tons of ice into the ocean, amounting to nearly 4% of the yearly sea level increase. According to reports, the glacier melts at the seafloor which has receded roughly nine miles since the late 1990s. And this is a serious problem, ladies and gentlemen, because, because, because it has clearly increased uh, the sli wider slice of ice comparatively, comparatively uh, ocean's warm water. So the Twites Glacier, what happens if the glacier collapses? The glacier, which is roughly the size of Gujarat, is on the edge of collapsing. It could cause catastrophic sea level rise, it's possible. And as per result, uh, as per reports, the world sea levels could rise to as much, ocean levels could rise as much as per as two feet. The total collapse of the Thwaites might also devastate coastal cities around the world. And more than about two feet, a rise of two feet means how much of ingress would be made, you could see. A CNN report also suggests that uh, it is going to have severe consequences by 2030 devastating coastal regions. Uh, there is a surge in coastal flooding in the US in mid-2030s that could occur. When glaciers melt, tectonic plates will diminish. And when tectonic plates diminish, Turkey, Syria, quake are an example. That's what will happen. Now, now how does it affect you and me? According to a report, the melting, rising Sea levels caused by global warming are expected to have a severe consequence by 2030. Sitting 12,000 kilometers away, why should we in India worry? The sea level rising along the Indian coast is a much far faster rate. The rise in the Indian Ocean region is not uniform at all. Coastal towns are expected to be nearly three feet underwater. We know what the tsunami did to our coastal regions in the eastern coast. So now you can understand what three feet of water coming in, a rise could do. Mumbai, Chennai, Kochi, Vizak are all severely likely to be affected. Loss of 110 square kilometers of mangroves in the Sundarbans, that means yet another major ecological disaster is what we could see. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the reason why we need to seriously be conscious of our climate and global warming. We're going to take a very, very short break. When we come back, 